let me show you how to enter gear into my gear vault. So one of the first screens you're gonna see here says add gear. Go ahead and hit the add gear button. You're gonna have two options for how you can input gear into my gear vault. First, you could do a search, which if it's in our database, it's gonna come up, you can select it, or you could do it manually. In this case, let's use the search function and look for the Nikon D500. It pops up there right at the top, and after you select it, you can see that an image is populated, so you already see the photo right there automatically. It says Nikon, and it says that it's a D500, and then when you move down to see categories, it already says digital camera. But let's take a look inside the categories for a quick second. You can see that you can enter a ton of different types of gear. In this case, it's already selected to digital camera, but if you wanna make a change to change the category that you think it should be in, by all means, go ahead and do that. So when we get back to the screen, you can type in a nickname, whatever it is, maybe camera one, camera two, whatever you want it to be, you can type that in there. But one of the coolest functions of this app is the ability to take a picture of your receipt so that it's always safely and securely stored inside of your gear vault. So there's two ways you could do this. You could take a picture of your receipt or you could grab one from your photo library. In this case, let's take a picture of the receipt, line it up, boom, go ahead and hit use photo and now it's going to be stored inside of your vault with this item. Price paid, $1,996.95, so $1,996.95. Hit done, then below that you see an option for used. If it's a used or a refurbished item, you can go ahead and, and check that right there. In this case, it's new. There's one of them. Let's put in the date purchased, April 21st, 2016. Just move that. It's always nice to know the date that you purchased something. And then below that is another important section, verification. I'm gonna go ahead and type in the serial number. So let's take a look at the serial number of this camera. We have 300 one, four, three, seven. And then as a secondary verification, take a photo of the serial number right here. There we go. You could also zoom in to fill the frame a little more. So it's stored that way, get it in the center, and there you go, and it's ready to go. You could also assign it to a kit, which we'll talk about later, or type something in the notes like, this camera is awesome. So at the very end, all you do is hit add, and there you see the check mark. You just added an item to your gear vault. Now we wanna add another item manually. So at the bottom, you can see it says add more gear. We go ahead and do that. It takes you back to the first screen. Let's go ahead and type it in manually. If you have some item that doesn't show up in the search, go ahead and enter it manually. It's really simple, it's really quick. In this case, the manufacturer is Lexar. The model name is a 64 gig XQD and it's the 2933X, 2933X speed cards. You could put as much or as little data in there as you would like. The next thing is let's add a photo since you are doing it manually. Let's put that right in here. Let's use that photo and there you have it, saves the photo that you used. Now let's go into categories and find the category for memory cards. Under data storage, right there at the top is memory cards and that is how you select that category. Nickname, if you wanna put a nickname in there, go ahead and do it. Now let's take a picture of the receipt. Here's our receipt, boom. It's now stored safely and securely inside of your vault. The price paid, we've got $90.90 each. It's not used, they're new. And then you see there's the quantity button. We know we have two, so let's hit the plus button. And it also tells you use quantity only for unverifiable items. Gear requiring serial number verification must be filled in individually. These include cameras, lenses, computers. So basically anything without a serial number, you could add multiple quantities of, and your vault will know to double or triple or quadruple the value. So it knows in this case, $90.90 times two, and that's the value that's gonna show up. I don't need to assign it to a kit right now, and there's no notes to add. And at the very end, I hit add, there's your check mark. So let's go back to categories. You can see that it says all gear. When I go ahead and click on that, it's gonna show you all the items that you have in your gear vault. In this case, we have the D500. We also have the memory cards. But another thing is you have the total vault value based on the prices that you entered. So you always know what you have and what it's worth. So that is how you enter gear into my gear vault.